Hello and welcome to this quick video about something in Mission Planner that I see lots of builders and pilots, particularly when they're new to RD Pilot and Mission Planner, overlook. And it can be the key to figuring out why that ESC calibration routine won't work, why it won't arm, and lots of other things as well. Now, Ardu Pilot is incredibly good at making sure that it will only arm and allow you to do things when it thinks it is safe to do so. And because of that, there are lots of checks and balances that are going on. Now, as you can probably tell here on the desk, I'm playing around with a helicopter at the moment. Uh, this is a Pixhawk 6C Mini from Holy Bro. I'm only using this because it kind of fits on the shelf at the back. But while I've got this on my desk, I thought it would be useful to make a video because I'm finding I'm answering more and more questions these days from people with ESC calibration issues, setup issues, arming issues, all kinds of stuff by just directing them to this one thing. So let's make a tip. Here in Mission Planner, when it starts up, you tend to have these three windows and if you're used to mission planner this is going to look very very familiar indeed you have the map over here on the right hand side we have the heads up display which has all the information about height speed all the other bits and pieces and down here we have a lot of the standard gauges however there are lots of other things that we can do down here and if you've watched any of my other videos you'll have spotted them we can actually change the settings on the flight controller we can set up what things we need to do in order for pre-flight we can actually have different size gauges if we want it to look more like an aircraft cockpit we can look at the status of everything so this is great the one i want to draw your attention to is this one here though the messages part let me just plug the pixhawk flight controller the 6c into the computer and let it boot up and then let's connect and you'll see as it connects all of the stuff fly in here in the mission panel so Mavlink connecting there we go so we can see that the alignment is done we can see everything is okay there's an update that we need to do so we'll do that after I finish the video but we can see here there are no errors there's no nothing here saying the frame type is unconfigured there's nothing wrong here at all we can see it's actually incredibly happy this is the thing that i would always do come in here and check it so for example pre-arm check fail safe throttle value at the moment is coming up as something that we need to have a look at come in here play with this stuff use the messages tab whenever you connect and that way it'll tell you exactly what the issues are and also if you've missed any of the setup steps again i have full setup videos on all this stuff i'll put a link down below go and check those out if you're not sure Ardu pilot has a very prescriptive set of what things that you have to do in order to get it set up so that the Ardu pilot system knows that everything is configured calibrated and is going to work but that little place in the bottom left hand corner in mission planner is a great way to just check that everything is happy or if you're having a problem where the problem's coming from Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.